I like, I like how we wear rubber boots. It makes us classy. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Captain Dr. Spock, and today we are playing the Fishing Planet. Although, we aren't going to do what we usually do. Today is a little special, as you noticed. There's gear just floating in the air. That's because I'm joined today by none other than Flaming Axe himself. He uh, came on, and we're going to do our... <laughs> We're going to do ourselves a little uh, friendly competition, basically uh, the, just the three biggest fish in a slotted amount of time. So it's a three lure competition. We have with us a jig head, two different rubbers, casting spoon, and red worms. Those are the selected tools for the day. Axe, did you have anything you wanted to add to this? Um, I got a suggestion that I thought of, like, as you were saying that. What's that? You know how we have three baits? Yeah. You know how we have three different, um, or we're catching our three biggest fish? What if it's one big fish per bait? That way we are required to use all three baits. Ooh, yeah, I like that. I'm down. I'm down yeah. with that. Um, so yeah. what we're saying here is, we have to catch three big fish on three different baits, and whoever walks away with the biggest fish collectively... No, the highest, yeah, the highest poundage yeah, of fish. I was going to say, yeah, the, the three collectively biggest fish with the three baits wins. Is that yeah. what we're saying? Awesome, okay. Yeah. Well, By the way, um, we never specified our time limit. What's our I time? was going to leave that to you. I thought you had that. Well, um, uh, well, why did you think I had this? Um, um, well, how about this? We'll, we'll fish until... So you got 1016 in the top corner, right? Right, right? Yeah, 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 right? What? what? Oh, then, yeah, 1017. Yeah, perfect. Okay, perfect. We're, we're perfectly aligned in time. Um, we will fish until... How about... What do you say? One? Two? Three. 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 Okay, yeah, perfect. Sounds great. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get this started then. Whip out yeah. my pole and then I'm like, oh wait, it takes time to cast. I was going to say, yeah, no, it takes that split second to get it going. So I'm going to start out with the three-inch grub here. On the... Hey, I'm starting with the three-inch grub. Yeah, but see, mine's different. Mine's white. It's That's not orange. Yeah, see, I don't got the orange one. I got the white one. I got them both. I don't know why, but I do. Well, mine... Wait, what do you mean you got both? I mean, like, I didn't bring them both with me, oh. but I own both. Yeah, of course, you should. You never know what specific color you're going to need for the time of day or area. Oh, oh, that was... That was a letdown. That was a letdown. What, did you did you lose a fish already? Spoke? No, 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 no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, I plan. You, I don't plan on losing it though. You you'll see. <laughs> did you break your line again? Uh, I don't. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> I'm still pretty salty about that. Oh, that was a snag though. That could have been. Let's see here. Let's see if I. Here we go. I had to slow down the reeling speed a little bit. Forget how fast this this reel is. Jig. Ooh. The jig casts a lot further than I expected it to. <laughs> so did you know that uh, they're bringing boats what? to Fishing Planet? No. Yeah, I I was reading somewhere that they plan on bringing boats, and they also plan. So you know how right now we have float rigs. Yeah. They also plan on bringing uh, the opposite. So basically, we can fish from the bottom with like uh, you know stuff that floats off the bottom instead of stuff that sinks off the top. Mm-hmm. So that's exciting because that's like. 
That's how I grew up fishing, man. You'd put a weight on there, <laughs> put a quirky on there, and throw it out there. This this white grub is not doing me justice. You got anything going on yet? Nope. Ah, we'll Are just... these three inch grubs too big? No, no such thing. Oh, okay. Well, so I, I, I guess in, like a foot long. I guess they grub. could. They technically <laughs> could be too big, but for the fish we're looking for, no. A two pound bass would suck this thing down like a minute. If I could just get this thing to do its... Say a oh, 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 I got one! Not allowed. Yes, allowed, I got one. Ooh, it's got some <laughs> weight to it. Does it? Last time you you pulled out like a little 1.4 and you're like, hmm, that's, that's a good fish. Hey, for the first cast of the day. <laughs> Honestly, though, you might have something to keep up with. 1.7 for the, for the jig. 1.7, let's get that down, let's get that down. That's a good. That was a good start for the the white grub. I like that. So let's. We're gonna move on to the three inch yellow shad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These are not my go to baits. No right. I don't. I was gonna say the 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 only thing that we're using today that I have any confidence in is the spoon. Me too. And the worms, I'm not going to lie. I know for a fact that the red worms will do exactly what I expect them to do. And that's catch big fish. <laughs> so, Axe, I just have to ask, what technique are you using to attempt at catching your fish right now? It's a secret. How oh, I knew it! I knew it! A fisherman never tells! A fisherman <laughs> never tells! <laughs> uh, I was tempted to ask you, but I'm like, you won't tell me. <laughs> uh, the difference is, is you could technically go back and figure it out. Oh, oh, there's another well, one. Yeah, there's another one. Here. What the heck? I still have not even oh, gotten. Oh, that was that was heavy. Oh. Come on, Axe, better keep up, buddy. Ooh, that one's actually got some weight to it, man. Or you're just weak. Oh, I know. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's not me that's not having a... It's not me having a hard time. It's the it's the pole in the in the reel, okay? It's not me. <laughs> that's why you're stuttering so much. <laughs> Just get back to fishing over there. You get to catch it something. Ooh, well, 1731 exactly. for the yellow shad. What do you get? What do you get? Like, go, you go back to fishing. You don't worry about me. I'm a cameraman right now. Oh ho ho! One five nine. Nice, nice. And that was on your shad. Probably, yeah. I think he's on the phone, so that's okay. Very nice. He picks up a one five nine on the grub. So he is he's keeping up here. You know, he's he's got his first fish. I gotta move on to the spoon. I take it he's on the phone, but that's okay. Oh, how did I... That's okay. That's okay, too. Nobody's seen that. It's okay. Axe doesn't know what I'm talking about, so... And he'll never know. Well, actually, he will know, but... Oh, the spoon. Oh, the spoon works so wonderful to the water. Unlike the jig, where it, like, sinks straight to the bottom, the spoon actually has, like, a, a flutter to it. And it's so easy to get it to go twitch. Especially for being a half ounce, I expected this thing to sink hard and fast. Oh, there we go. Very nice, very nice. I don't think this is going to be a big fish, though. 1763, holy sh... Now, just because I'm catching all these fish, that don't mean anything. They're still until 2 o'clock, technically. Or 3 o'clock, that's right, 3 o'clock. An axe could come back and just whoop on me. Come out of nowhere with some amazing three pound fish or something. He's been known to do it before. I've seen him. I've seen him do it. But I'll bring you guys back in just a moment. Well, actually, yeah, I'll bring you guys back once I fix my leader. Maybe I can actually just reel it into the depths. Oh, I was actually getting a bite too. What? Hold on. What's going on here? Buffoonery. Hmm. 
Technically, my leader's too long, and I'm sitting on the bottom, but... As you guys seen, I actually got a bite there. Strangely enough. But, in the long run, I am going to have to go shorten the leader so that it's not just dragging along the bottom. So I'll bring you all back in just a second. Please hang tight. There we go. Dropped her down to 55. That's a good... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, come on. Just, just go ahead and grab onto it. Axe. I don't know what you're doing over there, bud, but you better start pulling in the fish. Shh. As he just comes back with a shh. You, have you gotten any bites on that bobber yet? Nibbles, but no bites. Nibbles, but no bites? <clears throat> Lots of nibbles. I was going to say, I feel you on that one. I got something going after mine, too, but... It's just bouncing it left and right. It's not even going down. Oh, there we go. It was going down a little bit, but this really wouldn't be what I would call a good bite. Mm -hmm. Just That's enough. Just enough to let me know something's there. Mine. It's like they're taking it and just kind of like swimming around in circles with it. Yeah. But not pulling on it. Uh, at that. Uh, one thing I'm going to say about that is I go down to rank real speed 1 and just give it a click. You know, once it once the real, yeah, there we go. I give it a click and just give it a slight movement. Sometimes it will entice them to bite it, um, but don't yeah. like pull it away from them. You let the weight yeah. of the line basically pull it. What's your depth at? Are you fishing the bottom? No, I was actually fishing the top, which is why I just lengthened it. I don't know why, but it was at 10. So. Oh! That actually reminds me of a like a glitch that used to happen. Every time mm -hmm. you split, get back into the game, whatever, whatever you were set at, it would be reset back at 10 or whatever. It was very annoying. Hmm. <laughs> And we're only using two out hooks. These shouldn't be that okay. big, technically. Oh, I'll bring you all back when something starts going on here. Actually, while we're waiting on X to get off the phone and we're waiting for a bite, I might as well slip in a little fishing story here. Ooh, ooh, no, no, okay. Um, here recently we, we, sorry, not we, I hiked up to a lake called Wallace Lake that's lives very close to my area and went up there with some of my buddies that like to fish and ooh, ooh yeah come on just just take it fish I know you want it but we get up there and we we start out walking all around the lake trying to find a spot just to fish and we did end up finding a little piece of like bedrock that was big enough for all so all of us to tiptoe onto and like stand on and get a couple cast into a grassy spot of the lake and ooh, ooh, come on yeah see the story's making them bite it well as they're fishing I continued to search a little bit more of the lake to see if we could find another spot to fish and as I'm doing that my buddy catches into two rainbow trout Nice fish. I was too far out to see them, but they're a good size. I, mean, I know that from a fact, because I could see from the distance we were, I could see them. I just didn't get to be up close to them. There's just something just pecking away at that. But, uh, yeah, we continue walking around, and we actually end up going to the opposite side of the lake and finding a creek inlet. So made a very nice gravelly sandy bar with a very quick steep drop off and 
open water, very deep side of the lake, and it was it was perfect. And so we start fishing there. And I'm standing, so I'm on the very far left, then my buddy, and then my other buddy, and the one on the very far right, he's, he's having some, uh, he's getting a couple snags and having some issues. But he's, he's doing, you know, he's still fishing, but the guy in the middle, he's using a, like a rooster tail. Throws it out, and he's reeling it back, and right where the shore drops off into the deep darkness, um, I hear him, I just, you know, I, he's reeling, he's reeling, he's reeling, and all of a sudden I hear him, you know, do like the, <gasps> what the, and I look, and right at that deep, dark, drop, deep, dark drop off, I see the, the white belly roll of a, a nice, nice trout, and he sets hook and just starts walking backwards, and it walks up this beautiful, oh, I would say, like a, I don't have a tape measure on me. I don't know. It was at least like a 14-inch lake trout. It was amazing. It was... wouldn't say so much on the girth size, but length, beautiful fish, especially for around here. Amazingly beautiful fish. And it was, it was awesome to see. You know, you don't get to see that very often, um, pulling lake trout out. And so he puts that back and we keep fishing. And it wasn't even like 10 minutes later. The other buddy hooks into about the same size fish, rainbow trout though. And it was just, it was a great day. I, myself, I only ended up catching like a, a little dink rainbow. Um, one really neat thing about those fish up there is, you know, you look at a rainbow trout and they have that usual very dark green, black spots. They go to the sides where they turn into like a rainbowy white and stuff like that. These fish up there, the backs were like a aqua blue. They, they were some of the prettiest, shiniest fish I've I've laid my eyes on in a long time. Um, very much, very much want to go back and do it again because that was. An amazing time. An amazing time, a good memory. Some good fish caught, good hike. It was a great day. Just all around a great day. I was really expecting that story to entice a fish to bite the bobber. Oh! I just don't think that the fish that's biting the bobber is quite big enough to get the hook. I don't know if Axe brought smaller hooks either, so... And I don't know if I could share hooks with him. If I could, I'd just give him a couple, you know, a couple smaller ones to be like, Hey, put these on real quick. Because this is what I technically... I need to get a fish on this, and then I need to go back and start working on getting bigger fish on my grub and jig. But we need to round this one out to complete the task. Ugh. I might just shorten the bobber up a little bit. Put it at like 25 or something. We're at like 55 right now. Shorten it up, put it at 25, cast it over by some lily pads maybe. Yeah, I'll bring you guys back in just a minute. Okay. Now with the one eye hook. Let's see how painful this is. Oh, already getting a bite. Come on, don't do this to me. Just just take it under. Just just take it under now. <laughs> Look at that bobber dance. Just puts a frowny face. Oh! So that reminds me, sorry, watching the bobber dance was is part of that story I was telling you guys. So after they caught their big fish and I caught my little dinky fish, my hands started getting really cold because we were in a bowl, like in a mountain, and it's starting to, you know, there's already snow in the mountains around here. It's fucking cold. Mer. So I started getting all locked up and stuff, and I was like, I can't do it anymore. And I had a cast master on, and I, was just, I put a bobber on a cast master and had a little chunk of worm on there. 
and what you see my bobber doing now is exactly what was it was it what it was doing up at the lake it was just just dancing just going everywhere but there was no no fish to be had it was it was one of those like I know they're there I can see it they're biting it there's nothing else in the water that does that but fish <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh, and then also my buddy caught a bullhead out of Wallace Lake oh I I had the drag to tick on him, but the strike was too early. But I totally got the drag to tick on him. Like, I almost set the hook into him. I got sick of it and was just like, tried to gaff him. I almost got him. <laughs> uh. That was close. I almost had my bobber fish. <laughs> Would would have been cheating? I don't think so. <laughs> hey, if you catch a fish, you catch a fish. See that right? I can get him. I can get the the drag to click. The drag's clicking. Obviously, he's like holding on to it for a second, but he's just not holding on to it hard enough. Come on, fish. Let me go back to fun fishing things. <laughs> Bait was eaten or lost. Great! Great! I'm feeding the fish! Great! That's exactly what I want to do! I'll bring you guys back in just a second. <laughs> Wait, what? What? You got? You got? Bobber. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's a trophy bluegill, Ooh. though. <laughs> I mean, not much for a weight. I mean, the competition's for a weight, but touche. Should yeah, I even I should it. I even write it down? I write it down. Might as well. I mean, we'll see what else I get. But okay, I hope I don't get a bite on the bobber. <clears throat> what was that? A point oh seven. Okay. Point no, not point oh seven. Yeah. Oh point seven super seven. Super tiny finish. <laughs> 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 That's like not even a minnow. The fact that you caught that bluegill on a one out hook. <laughs> Maybe red worms weren't the bait to use, man. I don't know. I, I, I figured bass loved them. Um, Spock, you do realize you can like go to the whole species on a map and look at what baits they like. Yeah, well, I, I fish. All fish love worms. <laughs> Apparently, bluegill like them more than bass. I guess. Oh, oh, come on. I mean, technically, Axe is already. He, he could win with a .77. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shitty part about that. You have completed your task. Yeah, but I would like to complete it a little bit. Bait was eaten or lost. Damn it. What is your depth? What are you at? Shh. Doesn't... That fisherman never tells. <laughs> no, I honestly don't remember. I just kind of put it somewhere. Of course you did. Of course <laughs> you did, Axe. Of course you did. I just want to get back to something I can actually catch fish with. Come on! <laughs> oh, yeah, see, look at that. The thing just erupts and it just dances everywhere, and it's just like, come on. Go below the line. Go under. Get bit. Go under. Come on. I can't wait till they add boats. I'll slay you with a <laughs> boat. That's not very nice. <laughs> Run me over and <laughs> no, no. I, sorry. I guess I. I guess I gotta put it in a context. In the tournament <laughs> tournament terms, I will slay you. <laughs> I mean, um, you can still kill me and win because I'm dead. Yes, but that's not fair. That's not winning sportsmanly. <laughs> that's that's being a jackass about it. <laughs> being a sore loser. Come on, fish. 
You don't know how bad I just want to, like, set the hook and try and... See that right there? Strike was done too early, but the drag uh, totally acted as if I had a fish. I totally had a fish. Oh. He was bouncing around, and then he stole my bait, like, right as I pulled. Totally had a fish. Well, that sucks. I'm still in the hole, like, I haven't even had that joy. Well, let's see here for a second. Let's 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 take a look here. Do, 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 do. Find that spotted bass. We the preferred baits are small minnows, shiners, and natural eggs. Hmm. Weird. Small every fish. Minnows, shiners, every eggs. fish loves worms. What you all talking about? <laughs> and that would explain either of those. From here. Yeah, no, I was going to say, that would explain why we're not getting any bass. And you don't have any smaller hooks, do you? Nope, that's my smallest hook. That would explain why you caught a trophy bluegill. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain why you caught a trophy bluegill. You know what sucks, Axe? My you might actually win. It's already <laughs> won. Yeah, I was looking at that too, and I'm like, Ugh. it's already won. Um, it's already won, and you have completed the grub. Well, actually, I'm ahead with the grub, but you're ahead with the spoon with a dominating ahead with the spoon. What was your spoon size? My spoon is only 1763. Your spoon is 1802. That is a dominating, dominating weight right there. Not really. That's like 0.04. Yeah. You know how often you catch heavier than that? Not often. <laughs> Earlier today, when I was just kind of fishing around, I got a 1.92, I think. And I was like, gosh darn it. <laughs> Why couldn't I caught that during the tournament? <laughs> yeah. Biggest I've ever caught here was like 2.02 .02 or something like that. Just yeah, barely over two I was going to say, yeah, just, just a squidge over two. Which, I mean, if you catch a, if you catch a two, you can pretty much call the game. That's <laughs> come on, come on. Let me get a bobber yeah, fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, I just realized you're like way over there now. Yeah, no, I, I decided to move around a little bit because of the fact that I, I just, I'm trying to get next to these lily pads to get fuck something. I don't know. <laughs> Whoop, I got something oh. again. <laughs> Let's see what. Oh, it's tiny. I think. Oh, it's even tinier than before. Okay, black, black tail shiner, shiner on a one out hook. That. <laughs> Is skill, my friends. That is <laughs> skill. Spockenites, you've seen it here. <laughs> Caught a fish that was about the size of the hook. <laughs> Seven point four six two inches. Yeah, no, that does not. Yeah, that your other fish beats that, so we're gonna keep the other yeah. fish's weight. <laughs> well, obviously that's not going amazingly well. I'm going to stick with my trophy fish, and I'm going to switch back over to my grub. Except I'm going to try my shad now. This grub wasn't doing me much good. Come on. Yes. You know how much it sucks when you just want to clock a fish on a lure and it's like, nope, you yep. get to suffer. This is what you get for clocking two fish instantly. You get to wait the whole time now. Bait was eaten or lost. I am feeding these fish right now. A stable <laughs> meal of red worm. Little bastards. Oh yeah, no, it's it's almost like clockwork. Throw it in there and the bobber just starts to get going with it. It just gets jig going with it. <laughs> get on with it. Get on with it. 
Get on with it. Okay. Yeah, there's been a change of plans. Axe is just slaying it right now. He's <laughs> he's killed my spoonfish. He's killed my jig fish. And I still have even yet to get a bobber fish. We got to start doing something here. We we he's he's dominating the board across the board. We got to get this jig going. We got to get this spoon. Hey, guess what? I got another bobber fish. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet, but it's another bobber fish. Uh, this is this was looking really good. <laughs> I was looking up. I was like, hey, yeah, I got this in the bag, man. Look at me I catching these like fish." Oh, wait. No, maybe, maybe that's even a bass. I I can't quite tell. But it's fighting me. What is it? It's oh, a, yep, a 128 bass on a bobber. Oh, actually, it's 127.9. 279. One, what is it? 279. 279. Well, okay, I'm going home. Bye. To just <laughs> ponder my own decisions here. <laughs> You're an animal, Axe. <laughs> I can't just admit defeat, though, so... You know what? Uh, let's... For kicks and giggles, I'll spend this last hour and 20 minutes trying to use the two-hot hook and see if I get anything. Oh, oh yeah. For kicks and giggles, because, you know, he's already dominated the field. I gotta get back on that, Doc. I gotta get back <laughs> I gotta get back on here we, go. Here we go. Let's just stand right where he was standing. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna I just stand. know where the fishies live. I yeah, know where they live. I, I guess. I guess you know where they live. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, man. You're just <laughs> laying it right now. But do, do you want to? Do you want to know where the fishies live? In the water. Yeah. God damn it, X. How come I knew you were gonna say that? <laughs> Oh, a snag? No, no snags. <sighs> this is horrible. <laughs> Who's the YouTuber that records all this? <laughs> uh, apparently it should be me. Yeah, apparently Trophy it should be. Hill. You know, the bigger bass on all three terms. All over the board, just just slaying me. <laughs> Looks like I'll become the manager. You become the YouTuber. No, you wouldn't be able to manage as well as I manage. Yeah, I know. I don't have a I don't have a mean backhand like you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is horrible. You, do. you just don't know how to use it. On <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. Where are the fish at? Come on. Spock. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Come on, <laughs> tell your baby. Don't. Oh, I got one! Oh. What'd you get? Oh, guess what? I got a different species. Half pound gris. Gris. Grass pickerel. Gris pickerel. Gris pickerel. That doesn't technically help me though so we're gonna actually we're gonna bring out the big boy going back to the spoon because I, I can't let you beat me with the spoon that is one thing that wait, wait, will wait. not happen oh wait i was about to say but the spoon is my biggest fish and they're like oh wait no i used my bobber and caught freaking a massive fish so oh wait no that was my jig that was my jig yeah no i was gonna say no your jig you did catch a massive fish on bobber but uh, compared to you yeah but <laughs> Talk about a low blow! God! <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were being gentlemanly about this. I mean, I was just stating a fact. I mean, I've got one eight, one nine, one two. Yeah, he is, he is killing it right now. He does get bragging rights. I'm over here <laughs> scrambling, looking at the clock. I've got an hour left! Can he seal his own fate? Dun dun da! <laughs> Come on. Fuck, I'm concerned for my life. Why? I just randomly started getting the taste of 
broccoli in my mouth. Uh, I feel like I just scarfed down like three big pieces of broccoli. I don't know what I don't know what I just did there. Um, anybody in the comments down below, let Ax know if that's okay. <laughs> um, I personally, I don't know. That sounds like it could be a healthy thing. You know, broccoli's good for you, but if you haven't <laughs> been eating broccoli, then it could be not a good thing. So, yeah, I mean, if anybody knows, I if they could be so it, kind yeah. to inform Ax if tasting broccoli without eating broccoli is a health hazard. <laughs> You know, when it's been three hours since I ate? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, see, I don't know. Phantom tastes. I don't know if that's an okay. issue in life. I don't know. Maybe my brain is just telling me, go eat some broccoli. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe that's actually like a craving thing. You know what I'm craving? Some damn fish! <laughs> <laughs> I want a too hot fish. Maybe I used all my go juice on the, the beginning of the... the, the, the my couple first casts there, and it's just like, okay, now it's Axe's turn to catch. <laughs> oh, man. Bum, bum, ba, dum. You got one hour, Spock. I don't remind me, I know. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Here we go. Bobber, go now. Catch fish now. Yes. Good Bobber. You sit there and you wait. Tell me if you see him lurking down there. Good Bob. Oh, they're down there? Well, fucking get them! Come on! <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to have fun. I, I'm not going to try and catch See, he's got like so this. lax on me that he's not even trying anymore. I mean, How do I compete minute, with this? Of. How do I compete with this? Uh, you catch a fish. Bigger than mine. <sighs> You're very funny. As you go sliding, <laughs> just fucking doop a doop a doo. <laughs> waddle, 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 waddle. A fisherman never shares his secrets. A fisherman never shares. A fisherman never shares. Come on. Just just give me a bobber fish. That's all I want. Do you have a bobber fish? No, I don't. <laughs> Pickerels aren't fish. That wasn't on a bobber. Oh, I thought you caught that one on the bobber. Nope, that was a grub. I would have loved to catch that on the bobber. Then I wouldn't have ever had to use the bobber again. I would have been fine with not winning the bobber. <laughs> I can't compete with that. You've already slayed the bobber, so it's just like, yeah, no, just just at least qualify. That's all you got to do. At least qualify in the bobber. So right now, technically, you only have two fish on the board. Yes. Technically, I only have two fish on the board. And technically, compared to your fish, they're tiny. Frowny face. <laughs> hey. Fishy. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Gah! It's okay, I'm using the spoon now, so it's easy to catch fish. I was gonna say, oh yeah, it's okay, you never know, you could catch a bigger fish now. Great! What is my size for, for that one again? Your spoon is at a... 1.802. Oh, and I was not paying attention. I just cast it on accident. <laughs> Not where I wanted to cast either. This lake used to have buffalo carp in it. I don't know if it still does. I'll tell you in a minute. Pull out a three pound fish real quick and just fucking dominate the bobber. <laughs> fish species, it was a what? A buffalo carp. Buffalo carp. Buffalo carp. Nope. You got okay. black tail shiner, bluegill, channel catfish, 
golden shiner, grass pickerel, green sunfish, red ear sunfish, smallmouth buffalo. Spawn oh wait, bass. smallmouth buffalo right there, yeah. Looks like a big white fish. Yeah. Yeah, if I wasn't using worms, I could uh, just... It says preferred baits. Blood worms? <laughs> I don't have blood worms. But yeah, it doesn't even have a preferred lure. It doesn't like lures. No, it's so a bait, it's a bait fish. Mayflies, corn, and some semolina baits. Semolina. Semolina baits. Yeah. I still don't know how to pronounce that. Simoleon, Simoleon, I don't know. Simoleon. Simoleon balls! <laughs> Over eastern Washington, they got carp. I was hanging, I grew up, my Aunt Terry lived over there, so hanging out with some of the kids that, you know, the local kids over there. We're down at the docks, and he's got this bag of what looks like bread dough, and I ask him, what kind of fishing bait is that? And he's like, oh, I call it sweaty dog balls. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, no, it's just a concoction of dough that I like to use. And it's just like, oh, okay. I mean, he killed it with a cart, but yeah, just, oh, I call it sweaty dog balls. <laughs> I bet he sounded just like that, too. He had a... I wouldn't call it a lisp or an accent, but he had a twang. When you come from like three miles from the Canadian border, you live out in the mountains. Bobber <laughs> uh, fish, please. Yeah, Spock, you're just not in the right area. Just not in the right area? F you, you're. Oh, you're standing right next to me. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm running back to the dock. Eh? Yeah, no fish over here. Ain't no fish in this pond whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Wow, There's you're so far. You're so, don't even start with me. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> I can tell the whole internet your whole name right now. <sighs> okay, well, not your middle name. I don't know your middle name. Ha! <laughs> Don't no, I'm joking. Please, please, <laughs> please be nice, Axe. <laughs> I will. Let me guess. You're gonna come over here with a bobber and cast it right where I. Well, actually, I can't see you. So yeah. <laughs> Until you take a couple steps back and it's like, oh, what? What is this in my face? <laughs> Oh no, only got a half an hour! Should I switch to a bobber and catch something? And then put it on my pole? Yes! <laughs> I don't think I could do it, but I can catch it and release it, therefore it's like proof that it's there. You're funny. You're yeah. real funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch a fish and release it so that you can catch it again. <laughs> That's a burn, bud. That's a burn. <laughs> hey, get that I mean, get that shit out of my face. <laughs> yeah, bait was eaten or lost. Come on. I gotta I gotta shove it in where I can, because I mean you're what, like seven levels higher than me? <laughs> Obviously <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> that don't matter. I look at the tally scorecard right now. Your line of fish goes way past my line. My what? <laughs> three fish? My five pounds? How many pounds of fish you got right now? Huh? <laughs> uh, twelve point seven. Five point seven, buddy. I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs> That's all for my spoon, though. I caught quite a few fish with my spoon. I wish I could be like, oh yeah, spoon it up. But no, I have to try and catch a fish on the bobber. In half an hour. In well, a, 29 minutes. In, yeah, 29 minutes. It's. I'm not going to say it's not going to happen, but... It going to be rough! <laughs> Come on! God, 
this is painful. Alan. What? <laughs> oh! How dare you, Axe? Are you using a bobber? No, you're not. Right? Yes, I am. You are? <laughs> <sighs> are, are you sure you switched to the what? Ah, uh, yes, hook is one ot. One hey, slash zero. It's bigger than before. Oh, I'm not even going to write it down. <laughs> Here, you know, what, you know what? Release. There you go, Spark. Go get it. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, but look, look, do you see the bobber? Do, do, do you see the bobber? I, I see, I see, I see the bobber. I okay. see the bobber, X. I see I, the bobber. I just wanted to prove, just wanted to, prove to me that you can catch a bass on a bobber. I know. <laughs> you rubbing it in like salt in a wound. <laughs> I hope it hurts. <laughs> God. I just don't understand. Where are you even casting out to? Where are you casting out to? Well, How about that? <laughs> as far as I possibly can. Yes. I'm going to actually help you for this last 20 minutes. Okay. You're um, going to help me for the... Thank, thank right you. Thank you. Okay. Do you, you see the really big tree over there? Yes. And then, and then the slightly less but still big tree to the left of that. Kind of? Yeah. It, it stands out from the rest. It's still a pretty decent sized tree. And, and then there's like that grassy patch by the water in between those two trees. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, aim for that. Cast out as far as you possibly can. Aim for that. Cast out to that. Okay. Maybe like slightly left of that, but somewhere around that. Okay, so I've been casting to the left of the, the little tree, the little one, where it, like you see the scraggly things and stuff. I've been casting to that. Yeah, it's too far left. So you're saying cast us right over to here, and I should catch a fish. Um, somewhere, I mean, yeah, somewhere around there. <laughs> cast as far as you can in that general area. I think I have to reel back in. I think I'm just a little bit too long in the long in the lead. Okay. Now, with the guidance of Axe at my side, will I catch a fish? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, well, there's all the bites starting. Come on, just just take it under now. Just, just, come on. Give me a little nudge. Give me, me. give me my last five minutes of fishing with something else. Keep the line tight. Don't tug with right click, tug with left click. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The crowd goes silent. It, it's uh, uh, anticipation. Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> I w I got really into watching that bobber. <laughs> um, you know, you're just waiting for that moment for it to go go down. Honestly, mm -hmm. Axe, I'm, I'm probably going to have to go belly up here, bud. Because it is 259. That's nice. 250. 251. It's 3 o'clock for me. What? How did that happen? I don't know. But that is game time for me, so... <sighs> let's, let's go eight more in-game minutes, because that's what my time says. Eight, eight more, more in-game in minutes. Here we go! Redemption! <laughs> yeah, my line's too close now. Don't let me down. Come on, fishy, take the bait. Yeah, guys, I hope you've all enjoyed today's episode of Fishing Planet. I know you didn't really learn anything besides maybe a story about me, and maybe, you know, you got to hang out with Axe a little, which I think that's the first time Axe has ever actually been on video. 
Uh, not War Thunder. Ah, War Thunder. No, that is right, War Thunder. But this is the first time it's been a little calm and not, you know, chaotic. We could actually hang out. It wasn't, you know, blowing doors down and killing tanks. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I had to take a call for like 15 minutes at the beginning. But Oh, that's okay. That's when you were doing all your killing, man. That's No, that's when I was doing terrible. It was as soon as I finished. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, thing. no, that's right. That's when I was doing all my killing. And then you got yeah. off the phone and you were like, <laughs> okay, let's show them how to fish because, you know... <laughs> I go fishing all the time. <laughs> Damn it, Axe. Over here in desert Utah. <laughs> uh. Can I catch one more fish on the spoon before the day ends? That was a great, great day, though. I mean, I thought I was honestly, I thought I had it. Yeah, I thought you had it too. I was like, gosh. Let me, let me reel this in real quick, and then I'm going to go over my totals, and then once you are reeled in, let me know when you're reeled in, and I'll go over your totals, okay? okay there's still a minute left. Still a minute left. Okay, there's still a minute left. Minute, that minute's not going to help me, Axe. Okay, it's over now anyway. That minute's not going to help me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I ended out with... For the grub, a 1.731. And for the spoon, a 1.763. A 1.763, sorry. And I honestly, I thought that was pretty good. You know, that's a great start off. With an axe over here, <laughs> he's like, throw, just whipping that thing around like, woo, 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 I got a, <laughs> for my grub, hold on. What'd you get for grub? Um, for the jig, a 1.994. Right? Yeah. And then for the bobber, a 1.279. And then yeah. for the spoon, a 1.802. You yeah. dominated, man. Damn Actually, it. the bobber was 1.37 something, if we're, if we're being honest. Specific. Yeah. Yeah, I think I didn't write down your. I didn't write down your second one because you clearly dominated <laughs> me in the, the bobber category. I don't know why. Really big. I don't know why I ever picked. Oh, oh. was it really that far? <laughs> yeah, it was. Like I was legitimately staring out that far. Oh wow! It's huge. Yeah, it's 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 a telefloat, a telescope pole. What's mine look like? It's mine gigantic too. Whoa! Yes. <laughs> oh whoa! <laughs> um. <laughs> I told you I wasn't expecting it. Like I just was admiring your pole because it was so <laughs> uh, like I yeah. can barely fit it all on my screen. Yeah, no, that's if that's <laughs> if, I was gonna say if there's a thumbnail, that's that's the thumbnail of any right there. But yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Axe is obviously a better fisherman than me. I don't know why you bother oh, wait, watching wait. me. What? Are we going to go over our fishing tactics and stratagems? Oh, oh, yes, yes. So, actually, yeah, Axe, how did you end up catching all your effing fish today? Um, well, the bobber. Okay, that that seems to be the big one, the bobber. Yeah. I, 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 I came to the edge of the dock, you know, as far forward as I could go. Very important, very important. And and I, I hit F11, you know, so you can cast it out rather than just... Yep, I was going to say, that's actually something a lot of people don't know for some reason. I didn't know until you told me about it. But yeah, <laughs> F11, cast your bobber way out there. Well, actually, it's not that far. But out there, as far as you can. It, like I already told you where, you know, in between big tree and slightly big, or slightly less big tree and the yep. grass patch, you know, right around there. Right in there. From, you know, right around here on the dock, about halfway-ish. Yep, and I then, usually go, then, this green patch right here is where I usually fish from. Yeah, I just kind of go wherever. But well, yeah, right, no, right. I was going to say, yeah, I usually just use this, this green, mushy patch of me. That's a good spot to go to. Because it's a good halfway. Yeah, and so I, w I would cast it out there, and I would let it sit. I would okay, so hold on. To, you know, the what speed. is your hook size? What is your uh, depth? Why not? Uh, 53, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, 53 depth size. Hook, why not? Okay, and we're only using red worms. Yep, red worms. Um, so yeah, cast it out there, 
and I make sure I keep my line tight. So I set it to the slowest speed and just kind of click it once it gets saggy and tighten it up. And then as soon as I start getting the, you know, fanatic nip nips, you know, they're just kind of like, nom, 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 but they're not actually biting. It is about once every second, just give it a little pull. pull. Oh, pull. see, that's what I wasn't pull. doing. So pull. you're saying if I try... And again, that's just a it's just quick left click with the slow speed, just kind of a little tiny tiny pull. So pull. pull. That's once you start getting the blah, 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 but not the full on. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the little blah, 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 not the big. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like this yeah. right, right there, and then just go. Strike was done too early. Just because you right clicked. Whoops. Stop. You don't right -click. So, oh, am I, am I moving the mouse at all? What am I supposed to do? No, just no, left you click? Keep the mouse still. Yeah, you, you left click once about a second. Just left click. Left click. Left click. Left click. Just kind of tug them ever so slightly closer. I am. I've been doing you, that. To me, it looks like you're holding it down like. Is this what you mean by tugging? No. I mean, like, just. Here, I'm just gonna cast out like right here, just kind of. Cause I mean, I'm striking. trying, I'm trying to do what you were doing, man, and it, it, it don't work for me. It, it, it fucking. Okay, well, line tight. Make sure the line is tight. Can you see my line in my bobber? Yes. Okay, so keep line tight, and let's pretend I'm getting the blah blah blah. And then it's boom. Boom. See now, for me, you're. Boom. It looks like you're right clicking. It looks like you're giving it a little. You know. Yeah, I'm not. I am keeping my pole perfectly still, just giving it an occasional left click. Okay. Well, well uh, probably more than a second. I would do it a little slower than that. But just every couple of seconds, give it a little tug. And if they stop doing the blah, blah, blah then stop doing the pulse. Okay, okay, very cool. And so now, what about your spoon? How did you... Uh... Stop and go. That's stop and I go? I do with my freaking... Really? Stop, stop and go with the spoon is how you slayed me today. Yeah, I that's thought... how I always use it. And so spoon. what speed from the stop and go? Three. And what were you getting it to? Like a, a two dot, three dot stop and go? Three dot. Until it gets up close, then it's kind of difficult to keep it a three dot. But yeah, so cast it out as far as I can. Same general area as the bobber. Because, you know, that's where the bass are. Always. Let it sink to the bottom. Give it a like half second to a second of just sitting at the bottom. And then I start with the stop and go. And yours? Oh, I got a fish. Wait, do I got See? a fish? Oh. I had a fish. I don't know. That was weird. Lures don't go sideways in the water. Well, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. If it just kind of freezes, that means you've got a fish. And if you tug it right then, then you'll catch a fish. And so now, yeah. how do you get your stop and go to work so well? Uh, I raise it. I, okay. So I wait for the bobber to be like straight up, straight up and down about halfway height-wise. So like I pull on it until the bar, the, 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 the whatever you want to call it. The Indicator. Spoon, I guess. Yeah, the indicator is straight up and down, and then I let go, wait for it to flip back around, almost a complete 180, but before it touches the ground, and then I tug it again for one or two spins of the reel and get it to straighten out. So it's just okay. kind of a vertical flip. Yeah, okay, so you're almost like vertical jigging in a sense. Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> Very cool, okay. Fishing terms. It's okay, no, it's okay. It's, it's pretty much what you're doing. And then, so for now, for the jig... How did you do so damn well with the jig, Axe? You need to tell I'm gonna, me. <laughs> I'm going to be perfectly honest with you here. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know how to use a jig. I was just kind of going for it. And I think at that particular time, I was kind of doing a mixture of straight and stop and go. So like I would, I think I set it to two, maybe three. No, I'm pretty sure it was two. And I was just kind of doing a straight until it got pretty high, and then I would stop and let it drop, and then I would do a two. So it was kind of like a really slow stop and go. Okay. Oh, I just had a, a nibble. And what was your bigger fish on? The shad or the grub? Uh, the white one. Shad. Very nice. Okay. Well, that's awesome. I want to thank you very much for joining me today, Axe. Hey, you didn't tell me your tactics and specialities. Well, my tactics obviously don't 
Oh, oh, <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> well, you can just watch to see what you need to avoid because, well, okay, fair you enough, obviously fair caught all the fish. I'm the one that was just watching you catch all the fish. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you for joining me today. I want to yeah, thank everybody fun. for tuning in and watching this friendly little competition of Axe just slaying me at my own game. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, let me know what you think, how you feel, and if there's anything else you want to see. I mean, we're always down for friendly bouts of, well, whatever we can get our hands on, really. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Axe, is there anything you want to add? Um, yes, actually, because I just now realized that I can just look at you and see your level. Yeah, I was saying like seven, right? Not nine levels. Fuck. Not, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, obviously. <laughs> it doesn't matter, obviously. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, I, I'd love to play more games with you. Awesome, awesome. Well, more competitions. Right? Well, you got to win one eventually. Uh, well, I was going to say, yeah, that's, this is just flawed. This is this is a weird flawed moment in in time vacuum space quantum physics. Okay, um, so here's here's my thinking. You you'd probably win like landslide if we went for catfish, and I think um, pike. No, not pike. Um, gar. I don't know the big I, one. I was gonna say I haven't. Uh, there's there's grass pickerel and then pike. No, there's... not here. Other other places. Other places. Just imaging fish. Oh, oh, you know, oh! The big fat green monster of a fish. Yeah, like that's the, a, that's the, a gar. Walleye. No, that's what I. Oh, mean. walleye, walleye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I walleye. think that'd be a pretty even match. So back and forth, to see who wins there. That would be a pretty fun one, but we would have to both save up a fat quantity of money. Well, maybe me. I don't know. You are. I was about to say you're. A, you're a penny <laughs> pincher, man. You know how to save the mud ones. I love yeah. those lures. Speaking of, I gotta buy another popper. Which I'll be bringing that video to you guys soon. I sadly was going to record that yesterday, and I lost my popper and my pre-recording. He was furious. Literally, he was he was you know doing mic tests and everything, setting everything up to record the video, and he lost his line, and lost the popper. Didn't have enough money for another one. It didn't have <laughs> one. Didn't have enough money for another one. Two. Didn't have enough money to get back to where I was going to go fishing. Three. It. it Scrapped, scrapped everything. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, is that the last thing you wanted to add, Ax? I think so. Okay. Thank you very much for coming, bud. Thank you guys for stopping in. This is Captain Doctor Spock. That is Flaming Ax, and we are playing the Fishing Planet. We are signing out. You guys have a great day. Talk to y'all later. You gonna say bye? bye? There you go. <laughs> <laughs>